Obama Forest Wetlands, a part of a 30,000 hectare wetland system in Victoria on the banks of the Murray. So under the natural flood regime, this site used to flood nearly every single year. And as a result, this was an absolute hotspot for wetland plants and animals from far and wide. But because of river regulation, we tend to hold back the waters in winter and uh, early spring and release them in late spring, summer and autumn for downstream water requirements. So in a way, we've uh, upset the natural flood regime. Our major dams and storages have had an impact on our waterways and that's really led to a number of major changes in our water policy. In this decade, it's led to the Victorian Government establishing the Victorian Environmental Water Holder. So we work very closely with the regional waterway managers who consult their local communities to help devise their regional watering plans. The Victorian Environmental Water Holder then looks across those plans to decide where we'll get the best environmental outcomes. So we're predicting 16, 17 to be a really dry year, but it turned out to be a really wet year. We had uh, really big floods, particularly in the west and north of the state. Thankfully, the plans that the regional waterway managers submit to us cover all possible seasonal conditions. Well, here's a graph of the river flow in 2016, 17. The blue line shows when we come to October, we had a river height that was 18 times the channel capacity of the Murray River and it flooded most of the Barmer Miller floodplain. As a result of rainfall, irrigators didn't need irrigation water. However, this was at a time when water birds had a lot of young chicks and they weren't finished fledging. So a decision was made with a range of stakeholders, including the Victorian Environmental Water Holder, to consciously de release some of the water in storage upstream. And we had a tremendous result and we got thousands of water birds through to successful fledging and a big diversity of wetland plants actually flowered and set seed. And it was uh, all thanks to finishing off a natural flood event with some environmental water. Whilst the main objective of Water for the Environment is to improve the health of the rivers and wetlands, it also has other benefits for the community. The environmental flows coming down the river is wonderful for our business as a tourism business. High water brings more people in. Uh, when we go into the wetlands is just wow, um, that's what they say. It's almost something like it's a gift to be here really. And I, There aren't many places where you can go to that are gentle, beautiful and you know that nature's giving back and getting on with it. In 2016-17 we coordinated water use across 127 sites right across Victoria. In the Sale Common in Gippsland, we had one of the largest black swan breeding events in 10 years. We've also now got some evidence of some fish recruitment and breeding and increased fish numbers as a result of flows in the Campaspe River. As I grow older, I suppose, I appreciate more of what we're doing for the environment and by the water coming out into the Barma Park, that just helps the environment refresh itself and let the fish that come out and spawn swim back up into the river. Water is really important for everything, for all living things, not just us, but also for our plants and animals, our, our ecosystem, it's critical. And it's really important for our well-being. So many families like to go and enjoy the natural beauty of our rivers and wetlands. When these environmental flows come through, it makes a whole difference to, in, to the, the animals that live here. It lifts the place.